Does anyone else feel really uncomfortable when people are singing happy birthday to you? That's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling uncomfortable that you're watching this video and you even know it's my birthday right now. But I've got two things that are worth celebrating today and I really hope you will celebrate them with me. Number one is the reason I've been spending a lot of quality time down here in Newport Beach. And this is just a beautiful area. Maybe you've been to Hogue, Newport. Maybe you saw it's on our calendar for scripture of the day this month. Well, I've been going to Radiation Oncology. I've been regularly taking our brother in Christ, Steve Brown, to his chemotherapy and radiation appointments. And I wanna invite you to celebrate because today is Steve's last appointment. And when he and I come walking out of there, we are gonna be two happiest guys you have ever seen. And so let's celebrate God's faithfulness to our brother Steve to bring him through this trial in his life. The second thing I want you to celebrate with me is today the name of our street is being changed to Revival Circle. And when I found out they were gonna change the name of the street, they were bringing in the new signs, yeah, I might have asked him to do it on Monday, February 6th, because I thought it would be a great way to celebrate God's goodness to us at Compass HB. I'd love to see you on the circle for the block party, kids going to get air, us hearing great testimonies, worship. It's at 6.30 tonight. If you want to come for setup, it starts at 4. There's going to be hot dogs and chips for dinner. There's going to be trophy for everybody. So that's all happening, 630 Revival Circle Celebration. I would love to see you there and we are gonna just give glory to God. But today's chapter here on Scripture of the Day is Titus 3 and in Titus 3, it tells us the same thing three times, which means there's a point it doesn't want us to miss. And so I wanna invite you to open your Bible with me to the book of Titus. We're gonna finish up this book, really finishing up the pastoral epistles. Thank you to the other elders for doing some episodes of scripture of the day. But on Titus 3, right away in the first verse, it says that Titus is supposed to remind the church, as I'm here to remind you, we need to be ready for every good work. Now. As a friend of mine once said, and a wise man who you should listen to, he said, the only way to always be ready is you gotta stay ready. That's how you never have to get ready, is if you're ready all the time. And that's the idea here. You need to be ready for every good work. There's gonna be something that God wants you to do. Do you realize that when God saved you in Jesus Christ, he saved you for good works. He's got something he wants you to do. I know this is for me, yeah, if you're wondering, this is year 43, I'm 43 years old. And God's got something for me to do in my 43rd year of life. What does God have for you to do this year? You gotta be ready. Now, when it says ready here, it's this idea like Jesus is coming back and you gotta be ready. In Matthew 24, 44, Luke 12, 40, the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you don't expect. So stay dressed for action. Keep your lambs burning. Get ready, everybody. Also, in 1 Peter 3, 15, it says you don't know when people are gonna ask you to give a reason for the hope that you have. So you gotta always be ready to give a defense of why you believe in Jesus. So whether it's Jesus coming back or whether it's somebody asking you who you are in Christ, you gotta be ready today. You gotta be ready for every good work. Now it doesn't, doesn't just say good work here in verse one. It talks about being ready for good works also in verse eight and verse 14. So this is clearly really the theme of the book of Titus, especially this last last chapter. In fact, after he says you need to be ready for every good work, he goes, remember who you used to be and remember how God saved you by his mighty work? And so in verse eight, I hope you're looking at your Bible with me. It says the saying is trustworthy and I want you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. Have you believed in God? Well, then we got to take care uh, because God cares what we do and we've got to care about devoting ourselves to good works. Now that idea for devote themselves, it's really this idea actually of leading in good works. 
Like we, we're here to lead the good works. So do you care about leading in good works? That is a trustworthy saying. That's what God wants all of us who've believed, all of us who've been saved. God's got something he wants you to do. And then in verse 14, it says, let our people, that's all of us in the church, let our people learn to devote themselves to good works. So we've got to learn how to lead others in good works so as to help cases of urgent need and not be unfruitful. So in my 43rd year, I don't want to waste my life. I want to do the good works that God has for me. And I've got four good works. I'm actually going to ask you to pray for good works we want to do at our church this year. And maybe God will put on your heart some good works that that he wants you to do. Maybe you could even leave a comment of a goal of something that you know God wants you to do. Well, we've been praying about some things. We've got some ideas. We want to share them with you so you can pray for them. Four things in in my 43rd year, four good works to pray for. Number one, and it goes back to Hogue Newport, I'm trying to write a book called Miracle at the Hospital. And I've already written some of it, and it's about some of the things that God has done when I visited people at the hospital from being a pastor at our church in Huntington Beach. And so I'm trying to write it. There would be maybe a book that you, it could be an ebook, an audio book. We'll see. But could you pray for it? Because I'm actually going to spend some time this week working on it. And I would love for your prayers. I feel like that's a good work maybe God would want me to do. To lead in is to write a book just giving him glory for some amazing things that he's done. Some miracles at the hospital. Second thing we want to do, and Orion Christlove and Pierce is working on this. We want to release a collection of worship songs, some of them original at our church, and we want to release something called Let the People Sing, an album of worship songs that you could download or listen to wherever you stream or get your music. So some people have even gotten together and been singing for that, playing instruments for that. Ryan's working on that. Will you pray for the worship album, Let Your People Sing? Let the people of God sing his praises. Will you pray for that? Third thing, and that has to do with right here on Scripture of the Day, we make videos, we put them on YouTube. We want to make a movie. We want to go to Israel, and we've been to Israel, and we've made sermons from Israel before, and we've shown them at church. Do you realize both times we've done that, people have gotten saved, they have testimonies of watching about Jesus in Israel, and they got saved from it? So we want to go to Israel again this summer on June 19th, and we want to make a documentary film, that's right, a movie that you would rent or buy called Come and See Jesus about us going uh, to Israel, directed by Pastor Bilberg himself, everybody. That's right. Uh, and so these are things you could be praying for, a book, an album, uh, a movie maybe, a full-length feature film from Scripture of the day. We'll see what God does, but we want to do good works. And I said there's four of them to pray for, and the number one most important one to me is that the word would keep sounding forth at Compass HB. If you could pray for the preaching of God's word, I'm so encouraged to be going through Romans chapter six right now, and I just want the word to keep sounding out to more people, and I want people to keep growing up. I want the word of God's grace to build us up as a church. And so if you could pray for me that I could make progress in the preaching, pray for the other elders who will be doing preaching, pray for the fellowship groups to be building one another up as we talk about the word, as we become doers of the word. You could pray for people to keep reading the word as Team 52 right here on Scripture of the Day as we finish Titus and go to Philemon and then Hebrews all the way to the end in Revelation. Let the word of the Lord run, let it be honored. Will you pray that the word will keep driving our church forward? As the word grows, the church grows. That's the most important good work I wanna be a part of is seeing Jesus build his church in Huntington Beach. So lots to pray for, lots of good works that we need to be careful to go and do. And I hope to see you for more, much more, here on Scripture of the Day. Mm -hmm.